Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. In the constantly advancing field of aviation, technological progress continues to stretch the limits of what was once believed unachievable. Within the U.S. Navy's Unmanned Combat Air System, UCAS Carrier Demonstration Initiative, a remarkable breakthrough took to the skies the X-47B. Designed by Northrop Grumman, this tailless, strike-fighter-sized unmanned aircraft has transformed how the United States performs its sea-based operations. After receiving a contract in 2007, Northrop Grumman began an ambitious effort to design, build, and evaluate the revolutionary X-47B aircraft. This extraordinary unmanned platform achieved historic firsts, including the earliest carrier-based catapult launches and arrested landings ever completed by an autonomous aircraft. In 2015, it set another major milestone by successfully accomplishing the first autonomous aerial refueling, AAR, performed by an unmanned aircraft. These impressive feats highlighted the X-47B's adaptability and its ability to smoothly operate with manned aircraft in the carrier air wing, creating new possibilities for the future role of unmanned aviation. Powering the X-47B is the powerful Pratt & Whitney F. 100 PW2 20U engine, widely recognized for its strength and dependable performance. Combined with a sophisticated exhaust arrangement, this engine propels the unmanned craft to a high subsonic speed near 0.45 Mach. Possessing a range of roughly 2,100 nautical miles, the UCAS can travel across great distances. It can also climb to substantial altitudes, reaching up to 40,000 feet. Sleek and stealth-oriented, the X-47B unmanned aircraft features notable dimensions, stretching 38.2 feet long with a wingspan of 62.1 feet. Engineered specifically for stealth and low observable missions, its unique contours satisfy demanding operational standards. Enhancing its functionality further, the X-47B incorporates an internal weapons bay capable of carrying up to 4,500 pounds of payload. Guided by sophisticated computer systems, the X-47B UCAS demonstrates advanced intelligence through autonomous flight control. Its navigation is overseen by a hybrid system that blends global positioning with visual guidance. Pre-programmed flight routes are executed with precision while continuously supervised by an experienced mission operator. Equipped with a wide range of advanced sensors, the UCAS delivers an impressive selection of abilities. These include electro-optical, EO, infrared, IR, synthetic aperture radar, SAR, inverse SAR, ground moving target indicator, GMTI, electronic support measures, ESM, and maritime moving target indicator, MMTI systems. 
These advanced sensors significantly strengthen the UCAS's reconnaissance, surveillance, and target tracking performance. Setting new benchmarks for flexibility, the UCAS D version includes both the probe and drogue refueling method used by the US Navy and the boom receptacle setup employed by the USAF for autonomous air refueling. Just as the X-47B expanded the limits of unmanned aviation, the Boeing MQ-25 Stingray arrived as another notable advancement. Originating from the carrier-based aerial refueling system, CBAR's effort, which grew out of the earlier unmanned carrier-launched airborne surveillance and strike U-Class program, the MQ-25 Stingray, is a refueling drone reshaping carrier aviation. Starting in 2006, the US Navy sought to create a UAV operable from aircraft carriers. Initially imagined as a stealthy strike asset capable of penetrating hostile defenses, the U-Class plan shifted in 2012 To speed up development for low-intensity counter-terrorism missions, the focus turned toward an intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR-based platform, reducing strike capability requirements. At the core of the Boeing MQ-25, Stingray's performance is the powerful Rolls-Royce AE-3007 Newton's engine. This advanced power plant, belonging to the AE-3007 series of high-bypass turbofan engines, produces over 10,000 pounds of thrust. Alongside its propulsion strength, the AE-3007N also supplies key electrical power to support onboard systems, ensuring steady and reliable performance. In the realm of refueling operations, the MQ-25A Stingray demonstrates impressive capability. Delivering up to 15,000 pounds of fuel, it can support aircraft up to 500 nautical miles away. This unmanned refueling drone plays a crucial role by supplying fuel to platforms such as the FA-18 Super Hornet, EA-18G Growler, and F-35 Sea Fighter, effectively broadening their mission range and airborne duration. Satellite and radio networks form the communication backbone for its refueling missions. The MQ-25 Stingray will also function within the Navy's conventional catapult and recovery systems, enabling smooth cooperation between unmanned and manned aircraft. Outfitted with advanced systems, the MQ-25 will utilize the Core Power Electronic Circuit Breaker Unit, ECBU technology, giving operators smarter monitoring and management of onboard power systems. As the U.S. Navy advances into the coming decades, major upgrades are being applied throughout the long-serving Nimitz-class carriers. These powerful ships are receiving extensive improvements and refurbishments to support a new era of vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL aircraft and drones. The upgrades are designed to meet the needs of cutting-edge platforms like the F-35C Lightning II, E-2D Advanced Hawkeye, and CMV-22B Osprey. Additionally, the carriers are being prepared to integrate future systems, including the MQ-25 Stingray unmanned aircraft, these enhancements strengthen operational capability and ensure these carriers remain central to the evolution of naval aviation. 
In a major step toward advancing and refining unmanned aircraft operations, the U.S. Navy has created a specialized unit dedicated to testing and evaluating unmanned aircraft systems, UAS. On October 18th, a significant commissioning ceremony was held at Naval Air Station Patuxent River's Webster Outlying Field, marking the establishment of the first air test and evaluation squadron. This newly activated squadron begins operations with a diverse fleet of more than 23 fixed and rotary wing UAS, including platforms such as the MQ-8 Fire Scout, RQ-20 Puma, RQ-21 Blackjack, RQ-26 Aerostar, and several state-of-the-art commercial systems. With this wide selection of unmanned aircraft, the Air Test and Evaluation Squadron leads efforts in examining, testing, and expanding drone capabilities. The MQ-8B Fire Scout, a distinguished rotary wing unmanned aircraft system, UAS, operates as an autonomous helicopter managed by Helicopter Maritime Strike Squadron, HSM-35 Detachment 1. Its flight missions launch from the littoral combat ship USS Fort Worth, LCS-3, marking a meaningful advancement in unmanned maritime aviation. HSM-35 is the Navy's first composite expeditionary helicopter squadron, integrating one MH-60R Seahawk with one MQ-8B Fire Scout. Together, these aircraft extend range and endurance to improve maritime domain awareness. Deployed from guided missile frigates, FFG, and littoral combat ships, LCS, the MQ-8B Fire Scout demonstrates notable versatility. With an endurance exceeding five hours, a system consisting of three MQ-8B units can sustain up to 12 hours of continued coverage at distances of up to 110 nautical miles from the launch location. Outfitted with powerful ISR capabilities, including the Bright Star 2 turret featuring EO, IR, laser designator range finder sensors and maritime search radar, the MQ-8B provides real-time target tracking around the clock. It may also carry modular equipment for missions such as voice relay and battlefield control support. Manufactured by Northrop Grumman, the MQ-8B Fire Scout measures 31.5 feet long, cruises near 80 knots with a top speed of around 85 knots, and operates at altitudes up to 12,500 feet. With a 300-pound payload, its standard endurance reaches 5.5 hours. The MQ-8B Fire Scout clearly demonstrates the expanding capability of rotary wing UAS and their role in pushing unmanned aviation forward. A busy flight deck crowded with fighter jets and deck crew represents only a fraction of what occurs on an aircraft carrier. A vast amount of activity takes place below. Nimitz-class carriers contain 18 levels beneath the main deck. Among them, the hangar deck is essential serving as the core area that houses the aircraft fleet. The hangar deck is divided into three separate sections using heavy, fire-resistant steel doors. This layout prevents fire from spreading to other parts of the deck. 
Maneuvering aircraft within the hangar can be difficult because of the limited space. Using a standard tow vehicle and bar would be cumbersome. Therefore, a special towing tractor called the spotting dolly is used by U.S. Navy personnel. The spotting dolly offers a zero-turn radius and lifts the aircraft's nose gear, making it ideal for tight movements on the hangar deck. A joystick system controls its steering and speed. Transferring aircraft from the hangar deck to the flight deck is simplified by four large elevators around the hangar bay. Three elevators sit on the starboard side, while the fourth is on the port side. Newer Ford-class carriers use only three elevators. Besides transferring aircraft, heavy munitions must also be transported from the magazines to the flight deck. Weapons are commonly disassembled before being stored in the magazines and reassembled when needed. After assembly, ordnance is transferred to the flight deck using weapons elevators. Ford-class carriers feature much larger weapon storage spaces, allowing fully assembled ordnance to be stored. A total of 11 Advanced Weapon Elevators AWE, are installed aboard the USS Gerald R. Ford. The shift toward unmanned and carrier-based aviation marks a significant evolution in naval power projection and sustainability at sea. From the pioneering X-47B, confirming that autonomous aircraft can operate safely from carriers to the MQ-25 Stingray, extending fighter reach through refueling, these technologies are transforming naval aviation. Alongside upgraded carriers, improved deck systems, and specialized test units, the U.S. Navy is shaping a future where unmanned and manned aircraft function together seamlessly enhancing capability, adaptability, and effectiveness across an increasingly complex maritime environment. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.